click attribution when it's not love at first sight. Before we get into click attribution and AdWords, a quick story that never happened. I was walking along the beach one day when I saw an interesting scene. It was a man and a woman. The woman was radiantly beautiful, and the man was down on one knee in front of her, and he held out a little blue box, and he opened it for her, and he said, Emily, would you marry me? And the woman said, yes, Charles, I will, absolutely. And she threw her arms around him, and it was a beautiful scene. And I thought, that would be fun. So I went to the jewelry store, and I bought a little blue box, and I went to the beach, and I saw another radiantly beautiful woman walking along. Never seen her before. But uh, I ran up to her, um, got her attention, dropped down on one knee, held out the box, and said, Emily, would you marry me? And she looked at me kind of funny. Then she walked away. Rather quickly, in fact. So what's the point of that little story? The point is that I made a mistake by assuming that the conversion that I saw was the whole story. Obviously, Charles and Emily had known each other for some time before that moment that I stumbled upon on the beach. The final conversion, the bending down on one knee, the offering, the blue box, the marriage proposal, was not the first step. It was the last of many. And we can make this same mistake in AdWords when we think that the last click conversion is the only thing we need when in fact suppose somebody saw your ad and didn't click on it but it stayed in their mind a little bit and then a couple days later they saw a different ad or maybe the same ad when they were doing another search and this time they clicked on it but they still didn't buy and then a few days later they did a more refined search, saw your ad again, recognized you, you've been there twice already, and said, okay, I trust this person now, they've got some longevity, they're stuck in my mind, they're saying things that make sense, and now they convert. They fill out your form or they buy something. Suppose that first search, the one where they just saw your ad but didn't click on it, suppose everybody does that you would look at your statistics and you might think that keyword is no good it's not getting me any clicks and you might remove it but in that case of course you're removing one of the important early elements of your funnel of the search funnel or more likely that second click where somebody came and they clicked your ad costing you money of course coming to your website but still not converting you might look at that one and say goodness me that is an expensive keyword and people aren't converting. Where, in fact, that is actually still really important. So let's take a look and see where we can find click attribution data within AdWords and look at how to interpret it. So within AdWords, you go to uh, your Tools and Analysis tab and choose Conversions. From there, on the left side, below the Home button and below the list of all the conversions, you look at search funnels. See it right there? See how users convert. Once you get there, you're going to get to a page like this. And the first thing you're going to look at is assist, clicks, and impressions. And you'll see data that looks like this. So here we have 445 last clicks, meaning the last click led to the conversion. And then we have 29 assist clicks. You see that just to the right of that? That means the click brought someone to the website and that person later converted. But they didn't convert right off of that click. There was another click, another search of, of AdWords, another click on an ad, and that's the one they converted off of. So 29 of those. And farther to the right, 335 assist impressions, meaning... 335 times people saw your ad, didn't click on it, but later those same people converted. So what we want to do is, that's interesting information, but we want to know which keywords. So you can, from uh, the red box there, you can select the dimension. You can go straight down to keywords. So this list here 
is a list of 11 keywords. And you can see to the right, match type, broad, exact. Um, you'll notice that we've um, blurred out the keywords. This is a client campaign, and we're not sharing that data without their permission. But take a look at the red arrow pointing to assist impressions down the right. So you can see right there, if we sort sorting by assist impressions, um, you can see which keywords are getting a lot of action as assistance as opposed to goal scorers. Look at the second one there. So you can see that the second keyword is a single word, right? It's the shortest one, and so it's a very um, vague term, a single keyword. And you can see it's not doing very well in terms of last clicks. So as you might expect, a very, very broad, vague, general keyword is not going to get a lot of conversions. So you might, without this data, kill that keyword, delete it, pause it, or severely lower its bid. However, when we look at the assist impressions column, we see that there's 16 assist impressions. That means that this is, just because it's not scoring goals, doesn't mean it's not really important to the team. The last thing we want to look at here is time lag. You can see that uh, down near the bottom, which is how long do we need to wait? What's our search cycle from first search to impression? And so this is how many days on average do conversions occur after the first impression and you can see for this client it's overwhelmingly the same day so someone's not doing a long drawn out search over days agonizing and navel gazing they're going in they're maybe doing two or three or four searches within probably the hour probably within the 10 minutes um, and that's the vast majority that's almost 90 percent of all of them okay so the next question is if it's less than one day, how many hours? And Google gives us the opportunity to find that out. And you can see here again, most of the conversions, the vast majority, 86% occur within the first hour after the first impression. You can also check this out from the first click. How long does it take? Again, 94, 90, almost 95% from the first click. Now, how long does it take from the last click for this particular client, once they click, to, for the impression to register? We're thinking that should be even higher. So here is, this is a very, very short conversion cycle. Your business might be different. You might convert within the first hour. You might take a day or several days or sometimes a couple of weeks from the first click or the first impression to that conversion. So it's a very important thing for you to know about your business, especially if you're concerned about AdWords cash flow, about spending money on clicks that you're not going to recoup until a later date. So that is click attribution. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.